Hello, so this video is going to be on a pimpin' my roadie. I make some modifications to this relatively new system. Not that the system isn't very good, but I'm just not happy with my water pressure. And I also have my previous reverse osmosis system I want to cannibalize. So currently this is the Air Water Ice Typhoon Extreme 3 and you can see it is a five stage unit. I actually have been running this for about six months. I just did a filter replacement. So in the first stage there I have a 10 micron sediment followed by a 5 micron carbon block and a 1 micron carbon block. And then you have your Get from there it goes to the um, membrane, right? And then final stage is going to be your mixed bed resin stage. So you can see right now with uh, just replace the filters, I've got 50 PSI and that's it. So man, I mean, I'll, I'll give it a week, I'll be down to 40, I've seen this already. And eventually the filters will still be fine, but I'm gonna end up at 30. So I bought a booster pump, and we'll see that in a minute. So, first thing I wanted to mention is this system is a chloramines unit and does come with your special carbon for chloramines canister. I checked with my, uh, and that would normally be in your number two position. I checked with my water company. They do not use ammonia, chloramines, so I went with the 10 micron, 5 micron, and 1 micron. A word about that, I have noticed a few people swear by, in your first stage, putting a one micron sediment filter in. I suppose the theory there that they're subscribing to is that you're going to filter a lot of stuff and you're going to save your carbon blocks, right? And, and you're going to protect your membrane. Well, that is where it's untrue. Your membrane relies upon pressure to do its job. It not only has to force the good water through, it has to carry the TDS out to the, to the, um, you know, the drain water. So if immediately in your first stage, you're putting a one micron filter in, what's going to happen very quickly is it's going to plug and you're going to lose pressure. And if you don't have a pressure gauge, you're not going to know this. So what happens is the whole rest of the system is functioning on low pressure. Your membrane's life is going to be drastically shortened. And here you thought you were going to protect it by running a one micron in the first stage. Don't do it. If you have a three or a four stage, you can run a five sediment, say, sediment filter in the first stage, and then a one micron in the second but I have a five stage. I have the luxury of going 10, five, one. But never start off with one or 0.5. Let your pressure come through your system. Let your membrane do its job. Okay, so with that, that's the current system. And what I'm going to do basically is add a booster pump and also add two more stages of mixed bed di, di resin okay got this in a couple days ago I ordered from air water ice um, a six pack as they're referring to it of you have this would be the 10 micron I believe cartridge is that the 10 or the five I mean the five, that's the five this is the one carbon block and here's your 10 micron sediment filter. So also I did a little bit of research and I and on an air water ice cells the coconut fiber carbon block which I read is the coconut carbon is up to 5 times has more 5 times absorptive power than other carbons that may be used in these carbon block filters. So for a six pack, it was $30, all those filters. So that's enough for two full filter changes at $15 a piece, beat that price anywhere. So also I ordered some DI resin. 
I've already filled a couple of uh, containers with that. And I ordered a booster pump. Well, this is a pretty standard booster pump. You're gonna find it at all your main reef suppliers, okay? It's the same pump, pretty much. Um, won't get into that right now. There's lots of videos on how to do that. But what I'm gonna say is here it comes with a five micron sediment cartridge. And look at the size of that thing. So I'm thinking about this. I'm like, really? This booster pump is going to increase the pressure throughout my system and go through all of my filters. But the first thing in line to protect the pump a bit is this tiny little five micron filter. Well, we're going to get rid of that thing, provide what I feel is going to be adequate protection and not plug up the system before it even gets to operate. And this is how we're going to do that. So I cannibalized my previous roadie system. Let's get rid of the membrane and all the stuff that goes with it right now. So all I'm left with is my housing and three canisters. And quite simply, for one stage by itself right here on the end, we are going to put a 10 micron sediment filter. That will be before the pump. That's what I'm going to use to protect my pump. So from there, it'll go out to the air water ice system, just as it sits, which will go through again a 10 micron sediment filter, a 5 micron carbon block, a 1 micron carbon block, the membrane, and then through one canister of mixed bed color changing resin. So here, with the other two in and outs, I'm going to put two more. This is equivalent to most of the high-end systems that they will put another one or two. Um, if some people run separate resins, this is a mixed bed. So what happens is with effectively three of them in there, you can basically run the first one along until it's completely depleted, completely color changed, and then you're kind of rotating from the second one into the first position and the third one to the second position and a new one into the third position and so on. So in the long run, if you put some money up front, you're going to get the most out of your resin. So that's about it. Um, I imagine I will have to post a second video of the final product. product. Thanks for watching.